again, welcome everybody. Good morning, um, good afternoon to some, early afternoon. My name is Ebony Paino. So quick, quick uh, background about who I am. Um, I see a lot of familiar names on the call. So I'm sure you guys know who I am, but those who may be new, um, again, my name is Ebony Paino, and essentially I'm not your average school counselor. And I say not your average, meaning I basically took what I love the most about my job as a high school counselor and started doing those things in the community in which I serve and beyond. Obviously, there's some people on the call from California and all over the place. So um, my passion, though, is the scholarship process. So I've been a high school counselor for now over 15 years, going into my 16th year as a high school counselor. So a lot of what I share with you guys today is essentially what I've been doing for you know several years, even uh, before 15 years. I was a college advisor in undergrad, and so the experience it, it goes way back. Um, so, and I'm also a product of receiving scholarships when I was in high school. Yes many, many years ago, but however, I'm familiar with the experience, not only on a professional level, but also on a personal level. So today, um, you know, this is July 1st. Uh, it is not time to stop or be stagnant in your process. It is time to AKA, which stands for always keep applying. You want to continue this process, continue along the journey. Uh, this process is not for the faint at heart. I know some of you guys have already begun this process and have applied for scholarships. Um, and just haven't really seen the results that you want to, to see. So I'm going to go over some tips to begin with, and then we will delve into um, the, the type of scholarships that are available today. Yes, I'll be providing you guys with the direct links to the scholarships so you guys can access those at your discretion. So hopefully on your phone or on your computer, you'll be able to just copy and paste the links that I'm going to provide to you all at the end of the presentation. So yes, it is a a trick. Uh, you have to stay with me the whole time so that I can review each one and go over some tips and strategies. And at the end of the presentation, that's where I'll go ahead and drop the links um, in the chat so you'll have direct access. So let's get into it. I'm going to share my screen um, and we'll go over again the uh, tips and strategies. And a lot of what I'm going to share with you guys um, is going to be resources that you can actually download and keep for the future. So we'll begin with the scholarship searching success participant resource guide. Um, and so this is going to be a free guide that you guys can uh, download again to your computer and use for future reference. So um, at the end of the presentation, hopefully you guys can see my screen. Um, you'll have a link to giving you direct access to this scholarship guide. Um, let me ask those of you guys coming on the call, if you guys can go ahead and mute yourself. We are um, recording this session so that we can replay it for those that are not able to be with us today. So Ms. Blaine or Mr. Blaine, can you please mute yourself? Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. All right, so let's get back into the resource guide. All right, so um, we'll scroll down. Um, again, AKA, always keep applying. You guys, um, I applied for over 30 scholarships and I landed 10. Okay, so that means that the process, again, is not for the faint of heart. You've got to be in it to win it. Um, you've got to be resilient um, because that came with over 20 rejections. So with over 20 rejections, you know, I couldn't just sulk in my own, you know, wallow in my own regret or just sulk along the way. I had to, you know, brush my shoulders off and keep the process going. So AKA, we'll start with, uh, excuse me, start with the scholarship sites. Now, these are not exhaustive of all the scholarship resources that are out there, okay? I um, just wanted to give you guys some of the scholarship sites that I frequent um, occasionally or most often, okay? So um, I, again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop the link to this guide at the end, and so you guys can see and keep these sites. Hopefully you'll bookmark them, you save them as favorites on your internet browser. Um, social media sites, you guys were on our phone. <laughs> you know, unfortunately, we spend so much time on our phone um, that I wanted to go ahead and give you guys some um, social media sites that are also relevant uh, to you all. One of my favorites, of course, definitely uh, connect with me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, um, what have you. However, also the other uh, source or site that I love on this list is underscore, that's not a typo, that is an underscore growing with Gabby. That is a resource that I highly recommend you all uh, follow on Instagram, connect with her. She continuously, uh, way more than what I could do, but she's on a daily, a weekly basis uh, dropping 
um, you know, in, insight into her process. She won over two, well, actually $2.2 million, $2.2 million in scholarship resources. So um, she's the real deal. So definitely connect with her. Um, if not, you know, any of these other ones on here, but it's so easy, you guys, if you're on your phone, you want to make this process seamless for you so that you can continue um, getting exposed to information and resources. Of course, I post Show Me the Money Mondays every Monday on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook via Instagram at Succeed Drive or on my public Facebook page. So please be sure to position yourself to receive this information. Um, it's right, right there at your fingertips. Parents, you know, parents are our number number two. You're your number one cheerleader and advocate, but parents are your number two cheerleaders and advocates for you. So you want to obviously, um, you know, create your support team, have surround yourself with people that are like minded and are there to support you along your journey. Um, so how can parents help? These are a few tips from me. Um, not your average school counselor, owner of Succeed with Drive, um, 16 year School counselor, these are tips for my parents um, and how you can keep your student engaged in this process, how you can hold them accountable um, and what you should be doing to help support them and how you can best support them along this journey. A lot of us, myself included, we, we're so far removed from this process. We haven't gone through this process ourselves for many years, right? Um, so you want to be able to uh, figure out what's best for you as a parent, you know, what should you be doing uh, to support their efforts? So. Secondly, let's go ahead and not secondly, I'm sorry, um, I forgot what page this is in this brochure, but um, page five or so. Uh, this is the step-by-step -step guide. So what you're getting right now, you guys, is a quick snapshot of my presentation. Um, this presentation typically is over an hour. So um, this sheet right here is a, the basic outline of the presentation. It's a step-by-step -step guide uh, letting you know how you should think and how you should approach this process. So number one, um, understanding what the FAFSA entails, your free application for federal student aid. So many of you guys on the call are, um, and also who will watch this later on, um, may either be graduating high school seniors or have recently graduated from high school and you're entering into your freshman year in college or your current college students, right? So with that, um, you guys should definitely be in the know with what your FAFSA outlook looks like, you know, the amount of money that you're going to receive in grants, student loans, work study, which is also free money. Loans are not free, of course. Let me back up. Uh, student loans, you guys will either be choosing between subsidized student loans or unsubsidized student loans. And so not going to delve into or stay with that, um, that concept too long. You know, again, this is a, a short, quick and quick uh, and easy uh, overview of the, the presentation, and then we're gonna get into the scholarships, right? So, but just um, in a nutshell, you wanna know that for loans, student loans, you have different types and you wanna, if you must take out a student loan uh, because you don't have enough money in, in, you know, in grants or scholarships or work study, the free money, then you wanna be intentional, okay? You don't wanna cast your net wide and you don't wanna receive your award letter and just decide, oh, great, I have $5,000 in student loans, let me accept that. No, you don't need to accept the full amount. You may only need a smaller amount of that student loan. And then you wanna be strategic in which the types of student loans that you're going to accept. So um, one key major uh, strategy is to, obviously you wanna to opt to receive the, uh, the subsidized student loan in lieu of the unsubsidized, right? because subsidized student loan, the government will pay the interest on that loan while you're in college and up to six months of a grace period once you finish, once you get your degree, right? So instead of having an unsubsidized loan, whereas you will be responsible for that interest the uh, moment you begin classes, okay? So be sure that you are in the know and know what type of uh, financial aid you are accepting when it comes to your award letter. And again, this is for my graduated um, high school seniors that just finished in, in uh, May and June, as well as my current college students. And then of course, those who are underclassmen on the call, I'm gonna feature scholarships on here for everybody, including ninth graders. However, you all should be in the know. Exposure is key. So my ninth and 10th and 11th graders that are getting ready to embark on this process and on this journey, you wanna know what this process entails so you can be ready to go once you become a senior, okay? So moving right along, understanding your FAFSA, how it works, you have itemized all of your expenses, your cost of attendance, 
you've uh, compared that with your need. The, your need is what the FAFSA determines what your need is, right? And you've created your budget plan. And so, of course, on the call, you're getting a free session, but I am going to promote myself. Got to promote what I do, right? So at the end of the call, I'm going to let you guys know I have my Not Your Average Scholarship Workbook that also goes in more depth of this process. So you get more step-by-step. -step. It's a workbook to help you work through the process. And that book is on Amazon for $14.99, or you can purchase it on my website. And I'll show you guys my website as well, because there's a lot of uh, resources on the services page that you guys can download for free. So then you are in the know, right? You have an idea of your cost of attendance, your need, you know, how much money you need to secure in scholarships, right? And I'm talking you through the, the mindset, like how you should be approaching this process. This is all a part of financial literacy when it comes to your uh, college education, right? Whether it be a two-year college, a four-year college, a technical school, it's all out of your pocket. So you are your number one advocate, parents number two advocate, and you're going to AKA, which stands for always keep applying, right? So then you're at the buffet of resources, number three. You're identifying and utilizing your scholarship resources. And again, um, the list in the beginning of this packet is, is a little bit longer, more lengthier than these, um, about eight or so that I have listed here. But again, these are just the top scholarship resources that I frequent, and they're not exhaustive of all the opportunities out there. I just wanted to give you guys some, some key uh, resources that are credible and that you guys know will post valid scholarships. There's so many false scholarships out there, sweepstakes, contests, you know, they're just not worth your time and effort and energy. So then um, again, with rolling your sleeves with the scholarship resources, you're looking at the essay. Um, no, I did not write 30 essays, you guys, when I applied for over 30 scholarships. I didn't write 30 essays. I only wrote about three and then I recycled them. I wrote the essay. Um, I reused the, the essay according to the essay prompt that was in front of me. And then I repeated, repeated the process. And if you don't have an, an editor or an English professor that's willing to um, obviously review your essay for you, just anybody, use your, your parent, your sibling, a friend, any second set of eyes to catch those uh, spelling or grammatical errors. And yes, you want your document, your essay to be as much um, as possible professional and free from those grammatical or spelling errors. The scholarship committees, they do look at, look at those things, right? So again, right now um, in my book, I do have some free topics that you guys can brainstorm. Brainstorming is half the battle. You all utilizing your summer, the time right now to brainstorm your essay topics and then write your drafts. And then you go ahead and again, reuse the essays that you're writing for other scholarships. You're gonna learn how to tweak them. And uh, as a part of this call today, because you joined the Zoom, I'm also gonna give you guys my personal contact information, my email address, of course, so you guys can feel free to, um, those of you guys on the call, I'm recording it. So I have your name, um, who was in attendance, but I will offer some free essay critiquing for you guys only that's on the call today. That's off a little quick, um, you know, a little treat for you all who are who have taken the time out of your busy schedule to join me today. So I'm gonna offer up my free professional services as well in that respect to the about 10 or 15 or so who are on the call today. Um, num so number five is to stay organized. Obviously, I'm going to also give you guys um, another free tool. It's a downloadable Excel spreadsheet um, that you guys can use to stay organized in this process and how to organize your scholarship websites and your efforts and all that good stuff, how to prioritize and time manage. And then other helpful tips that I typically go over in the uh, presentation. But again, I want to save the bulk of your time today, the hour that we're spending today the bulk of it actually going through the scholarships that I want you guys to apply for today in the month of July. All right. So, and that you guys can also use for the upcoming school year. So that's why we we're here today. A lot of us get so excited with August through December searching for scholarships. We then, you know, kick our feet up or just um, the momentum dies down in the summer months. And I'm here again to dispel that myth. No, the momentum needs to keep going throughout the school year, throughout the summer, and also you guys throughout your freshman or into your college uh, year as well. So you have to keep going in order to see the money that you want to receive. Um, also, a lot of these scholarships, you guys, are one-time awards. So that means you need scholarships for the next year as well. So you don't, again, you AKA always keep applying because you're going to always need the money from year to year. That makes sense. And, we'll, and I'll answer questions at the end of the presentation. So other helpful tips, I'm not going to spend time on this. Um, as I said earlier, 
but um, avoids contests and sweepstakes. Those um, you guys should be, you guys should be applying for the scholarships that are more more substantial and that require effort from you. You're going to have your counterparts, your your competitors are going to all be applying for those easy drop my name in the hat scholarships because they're easy, right? They're just quick and easy. However, the likelihood of you landing one of those scholarships that are not valid or not substantial or slim to none because it's like uh, playing the lottery. You know, your chances are very low in receiving that. So you wanna apply for the scholarships that have essays that are due, that are required. Um, eliminate distractions, you guys, put your phone in a different room. Um, for my underclassmen on here, keep your GPA up even into your senior year. Um, scholarship committees, as well as college, um, you know, admissions officers, they can revoke your admissions decisions or your scholarship awards if they find that your GPA has dropped um, once you're into your senior year or even the spring of your senior year. So make sure your GPA stays high. And I'm not going to go over the other tips on here. You guys can, can see that. Let's see, do I have a question in the chat? Um, yes, Ms. Zellis, thank you for joining me today. She is pumping up and plugging my scholarship workbook. So thank you for that. And I'm going to uh, drop the links to everything at the end. So what, um, what I'm going to do now, because the, the remaining part of the uh, packet is just, again, an um, at a glance guide showing you guys how to navigate the process, what to look out for uh, with this financial aid process. And then you have my services. So um, yeah, under the foundation, I do have an LLC for Succeed with Drive, as well as a nonprofit. Under the nonprofit is why I'm here today offering this free workshop. So in the future, and um, you know, I do present workshops at local high schools and organizations actually across the, the country, um, and that's for a fee. So under the foundation, we want to offer free annual um, you know, tips and strategies and resources. So this is my services page. If those of you guys on the call want some more individualized assistance with this process or just in other um, areas as well. I have other workshops and other um, resources available. So even if they're not in just scholarships, you want to know how to become a better um, organized student, more time management, study skills, um, college and career readiness, and there's other topics. So there's that's at a glance for you guys to see how to also purchase my book is on here. So just some additional help. So, okay, we've got through the resource uh, guide. You guys will get the link to this guide um, at the end of the presentation so you guys can dig in and have something um, obviously after today after July 1st to help you along your journey so let's get into this process let's start with the scholarships that I want to feature today and so we're going to go um, scholarship by scholarship there are about four actually 12 on this list um, as I'm going over each one because I'm not going to drop the links in the scholarship names until the end um, go ahead and take out a sheet of paper or in your phone, you want to, as I'm going through them, go ahead and jot down the name of the scholarship um, and also other relevant information. So the name of the scholarship that you meet the criteria for. So you don't need to write the names of all of them that I'm going over, but write down the name of the scholarship of the ones that you meet the criteria for so that's relevant to you. And then also any other relevant information. So a lot of times these scholarship websites will give you the, the date of the announcement of the award, right? So you'll have the scholarship name, the scholarship due date, and then you also have the, uh, the actual date that they're going to announce the award. And why is that important? It's important because you want to know when you're going to find out if you receive the money. Because as you guys are entering into this upcoming college school year, um, you're going to have to register for your classes and there's going to be some fees that are going to be due. So you need to know when are you going to know about this money, when, you, when will you receive the money so that you can plan accordingly into your uh, college year. All right. So Take note of the scholarship name in which you meet the criteria for, and then also the announcement date. And we're going to go over that for each one. All right. And then at the end of the call, you guys, we're going to address some concerns. There's a lot of concerns that parents, I've been emailed some concerns that parents have about this process, as well as um, some educators. So we're going to open the floor to some, to go over some questions and concerns. So um, let's go ahead and we open up my computer. We'll start with the first one and or my link rather the tab and then let me go ahead and share my screen and then we'll get to the part you've been, you've been waiting for <laughs> you'll be waiting for which is which are the links getting the links in your hands all right so the first scholarship that we're going to spotlight today is called the thomas j henry leadership scholarship all right so i'm going to drop the link to this scholarship again um, in the chat at the end, the deadline to apply for the scholarship 
So the reason why, let me, let me pause for a minute. The reason why I'm doing 12 scholarships today instead of 10 is because two of them are actually due today. So I don't want to shortchange you all and say, oh, I'm going to feature 10 scholarships and only um, and two out of the 10 are due today. I want to give you guys at least 10 that you guys can apply for after today. So don't be discouraged by these first two that I'm going to spotlight uh, today. Yes, they're due today. However, if you have the time after this call is over, if you're on the East Coast um, and you, you know, this call is over at 12 p.m., you have time today to finish and get these in, great. Or if you're on the West Coast and you, it's only, um, what time is it? Almost 9 a.m. your time, you have some time to get these in as well. So, okay, so the first one, the eligibility for this scholarship, the Thomas J. Henry Leadership Scholarship, uh, the requirements, let's look at it together. Um, it says you must, okay, so it says it's available to um, all students ages 18 and over at all levels from high school seniors to graduate school. All right, let me clarify. So this scholarship, you guys, is, um, is available to students all ages, ages 18 and over at all levels from high school senior to graduate school, high school senior. And by graduate school, they mean two-year colleges, four-year colleges and grad graduate school if you're going for your master's degree. You also have to have a minimum GPA of a 2.8. So this one in particular does have a GPA requirement of 2.8. So I'm going slowly so you guys can let that sink in. Um, let me tell you the amount of this scholarship if I didn't scroll past it already. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, I might need to click on a different section to get the actual amount. I don't see that amount on this first page, but many of the scholarships that I'm featuring today are for $1,000. And yes, you need that money. So um, again, this is for, let me admit more person into the, into the session. Okay, so for this essay, the first essay out of the 12, we're going to, again, uh, feature, this one's due today. Uh, the essay, you have to write an essay. 750 words to a thousand words. All right. So for those that are just joining us, uh, please don't forget to mute yourself as you guys join the, the call. All right. And this one is due today. All right. And this one is explaining the importance of leadership. That's very easy. You guys can, oh my goodness, can write an essay about the leadership that's existing right now in our country, right? There's so many different, um, <laughs> you know, ideas surrounding this leadership topic. So yes, please go ahead, you guys, and check out this one. I'm going to go to the next one. So again, this one is for uh, seniors in high school who just graduated. Those of you guys who are planning on attending college this fall, um, all the way through grad school. So again, current college kids, you are eligible. All right. Um, and so if you guys have questions relating to the 18 and older, because some of you guys may be 17, I was 17 going into my freshman year in college, right? So what I would do if I were you is email the scholarship committee. There's typically an email address on every single website. You can email them directly if you have questions like that that are not clear, clear on the website. All right, let's go to the next one. So that was the Thomas J. Henry Leadership. Write that down if you feel that you are eligible, eligible for that one. Next. Next up is the annual general education scholarship. All right. Um, I let me ask uh, Miss Dennis if you're on the call. Can you let me know if you can see the the next scholarship? I want to make sure that it loaded on the page. I see. Um, or Miss Jenkins, can you help me? Okay, let me see the chat. Annual General Education Scholarship is showing. Okay, thank you, Ms. Jenkins. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, so thank you guys. Just want to make sure, you know, technology that I'm not losing, <laughs> losing the scholarship information. Great. So the set number two, the Annual General Education Scholarship. Um, so this one, you guys, and so you want to also, quick tip, you want to make sure when you're looking at scholarships and you're questioning whether or not they're uh, a credible scholarship, a lot of times we're searching on our own. We just don't know if the scholarship is valid. You want to look for receipts. Okay. I know we always look for receipts um, in things that we do. And again, uh, those that don't know what receipts are, receipts are just, you want to look for evidence and you want to look for clues that it is valid. Okay. Confirmation. And so a lot of times the scholarship will post the winners from the previous year. So you can see the winner's names 
from the 2020 scholarship is on here. All right. So for this one, uh, this the eligibility for the general education scholarship, you must be a currently enrolled uh, student at an accredited college. Okay. So all students are currently enrolled at an accredited college and don't read too much into it, you guys. It just says currently enrolled at an accredited college. So that means that, you know, if it's a two year, four year, any level, right? It doesn't specify. Just make sure you're reading the fine print. This one is a thousand dollars, okay? And it's for any. So my seniors on the call who just graduated and will be enrolled this fall, this one is for you. It's for students, um, all over, you guys, all 50 states. It's, you know, these are for you. It doesn't specify a specific geographic location. So that means it's for you. And this one is also due today. So for this one, all you have to do, it says um, submit the form below and a minimum 1000 word essay telling them about your goals um, in education. What do you plan on studying um, at your school, right? Um, as well as what are your plans after you graduate? After graduation from college, what do you plan? Um, why do you feel you deserve this scholarship? How would it help you? If you cannot answer these general questions, uh, you may not want to be applying for scholarships. Majority of scholarships, you guys want to know what are your future plans? What are you planning on doing with their money? Um, it's their money. They want to know why should they be investing in you? What makes you uh, different from the, your, your uh, other candidates, your competitors? What sets you apart from the rest, right? So these are questions that you guys should have in your brainstorming session with yourself during the summer, um, or aired on the weekends, you guys should have these um, these answers to these sessions. So also deadline to apply for this one, this is number two is today. The next 10 that I'm going to feature are not due until uh, typically the end of the month. So just wanted to give you guys some, if you're, again, if you have time today to get this done, here it is. Um, so I don't see on this form, you guys, the announcement uh, date. So, um, you know, again, you guys need to search for that or in the facts and questions, you guys can click on that later once I drop the links. But yeah, search for, you guys wanna know the amount, announcement date so you guys can plan accordingly, right? All right, so let's jump off of this one. Let's go to the next one. All right, here we go. Stay with me, you guys. You only have 30 more minutes. I know that this is a, a lengthy session. It's only for an hour, but it's to set you up financially. And with that, time is money, right? So right now you're investing in your your process in yourself. So you're investing your time um, in your scholarship searching success process. So this next one that I'm going to feature, this one is called the Sutliff or Sutliff, Sutliff and Stout Annual Scholarship Contest. All right. So this one is a contest. However, it does require action from you. Um, it is for $1,500. Um, and it is, let's see, it's only actually asking students to write an essay. So even though the word in this, it does a contest. However, it is uh, an essay. So it is valid. It is worth your time. It is definitely a more substantial option. So go ahead and put this one on, this one on your list. Um, so applicants must be either an outgoing high school senior. So that means graduating uh, summer of 2021 or students currently enrolled in college, trade school, or university. If you're an underclassman on the call, please again, stay on the call. I do have, I do know that I have a few for, um, for my ninth and 10th graders, but for this one, it is for high school seniors who've just graduated this summer or are currently enrolled or who are currently enrolled in college, trade school, or university. So my two-year colleges, technical colleges, four-year colleges, et cetera, this one is for you. And it's not due until July 30th, right? So this one is fun, you know, write an essay of at least 500 words detailing your most common distracted driving habits. Oh my goodness, social media. I mean, that's a no brainer to write on this one and describe the concrete steps you will take to put an end to those habits. All right, uh, research, think outside the box with some of these essay prompts, you guys. Research, um, you know, how habits are formed, how to eliminate habits and then connect it to you know, uh, driving habits, you know, how to, you know, combat those negative habits. Okay. So this one, everybody should be writing this one down. This is again, not due until July 30th. And it is for all, all students um, who are um, either who just graduated from high school or who are all going to be attending. Um, okay. So it does tell us um, right here, a winner will be selected 
no later than Friday, August 13th. Write that down, Friday, August 13th. Again, you need to keep track of when you're going to hear back from these scholarships. How can you be intentional about your scholarship approach if you don't know when they're going to be announced, <laughs> right? So you need to know how many scholarships you want to keep applying for because it's, it's the waiting game as well. You're waiting to hear back from the scholarships. Um, so you want to know when should I expect to hear back and you guys should be, expect to hear something by August 13th, that Friday. So write that date down. The due date for this scholarship again is July, July 30th, write that down. And for my freshmen on the call uh, or, or sophomores or juniors, if the scholarship does not obviously pertain to you, you can't, you're not eligible just yet. If you're not eligible just yet, that's okay. Please, at the end, you guys wanna also save these links. Most of these scholarships that I'm featuring today are scholarships that, that do not pertain to a specific demographic or a specific area of interest or a specific major, or if you're an athlete, et cetera, it's not specific um, to those demographics, right? So it's, they're more general. I like to feature more general scholarships so that you guys all have a chance. So my underclassmen on the call, you guys can save these links so that you guys can apply for them when, when you become a senior, right? So it's about being strategic. My underclassmen on the call, you guys have the advantage of time. You guys have the time. So you're building your list right now as an underclassman. So save the links that I'm going to drop in the chat at the end of the call. My current seniors, graduating seniors, um, and my college students on this call, again, you guys need to be um, writing down the name and the due date, as well as the announcement date of the scholarships that pertain to you. And I'm going to give you guys the links. All right, moving right along. Stay with me, you guys. <laughs> it's a lot of information, but stay with me. All right. So the next one we're featuring today is the sixth annual $2,000 Minecraft scholarship. And I do have a, a few of these are on my Instagram um, page. So um, you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, many of these scholarships and more, I will be posting on Monday. So I wanna keep uh, letting you guys know, follow me on Instagram or Twitter at Succeed Drive or on Facebook, Succeed with Drive, Succeed with Drive. All right. So this one, you guys, this one is for, let's see, eligible students. You must be a U.S. citizen. You must be currently enrolled in college or high school. There you go. My ninth, 10th, and 11th graders on the call. It's for you as well. Must be enrolled in college or high school. However, for this one, you have a GPA requirement. So this one, it says you must carry a 3.0 or higher GPA. All right, so some of you guys, you still, still may be eligible. Some of you guys may not be eligible anymore because of that, but you guys stay again, um, you know, stay uh, in, it, in it to win it. If you guys become eligible, you have a 3.0 later on, keep this scholarship in mind, right? This one, you guys, it says write a short essay, no, of no less than 500 words um, about your opinion on how Minecraft can be a positive influence on education and career development. So you fill out the form below with your essay and appropriate information. So you guys have plenty of time to get this one done. July 31st, all right? Must be a U.S. citizen, 3.0 or above GPA, currently enrolled in college or high school, 500 words or more. So it says no less than 500 words about your opinion on how Minecraft can be a positive influence on education. So many of you guys will qualify for this one. I don't see offhand, uh, you guys, the um, announcement date. So again, if you're unsure of, of when they're gonna announce these things, you can either question, join the question. They have a live chat that you guys can ask on this page, or you can um, check out the other tabs. I didn't mention it earlier, but this one is for, let's see, $2,000, I believe, yes. So it's a $2,000 scholarship. Woohoo! we want that money. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So the name of the scholarship, you guys, is the, let me, what am I, the sixth annual $2,000 Minecraft scholarship. There you go. The amount is in the title, actually. So this is the $2,000 Minecraft scholarship. It's due on July, let's see, 31st, 3.0 or above GPA, must be a U.S. citizen enrolled in high school or college. 500 words, you guys, that's like half of a page. That's nothing. You guys can definitely get that done. All right, so we're gonna move right along. And again, I'm going to give you guys the links to all of these. So 
do not be leery of, okay, I, I missed that one. You're going to see all of them again. But my goal is to show you the scholarship so you guys can see how to click. Some of this can be overwhelming for students. You know, it's a lot of information at you. And it's like, where do I click on the website? I, I don't know where to go. So going through them with you guys intentionally so you guys can get become familiar with how to access um, the information. So the next one is the career and technical scholarships. However, this website, you guys, it's, it's very comprehensive. I don't want to you know, overwhelm you um, on this site. You guys are gonna see uh, numerous scholarship opportunities on this one. You'll see the state scholarships tab. We're in the career and technical scholarships tab. There are targeted scholarship tabs uh, or tab rather. And then there's also a, let me move my box out of the way, a national scholarships tab. So. From previous experience, you guys, um, you'll find that there's a lot of listings actually on these multiple tabs. So you're gonna need to spend time, you guys, spend time on this site in particular. It's the more comprehensive um, um, one that's available to you. Let me take a quick sip of water. So this site, you guys, again, it, it may be overwhelming, but it's worth your time one weekend. Spend some time. You don't wanna miss deadlines. So you know, be proactive and get on this site in advance. But today, for the sake of time, we're going to stay on this tab here, the career and technical scholarships. So this one, eligibility criteria, it, listen, you guys, they are offering 500 scholarships uh, at 200, I'm sorry, $2,500 each. Whew. They, they must have a huge scholarship fund, a wealth of resources, you guys, to be able to offer 500 scholarships at $2,500 each. That's a lot. So for the eligibility, have completed high school or earned a high school equivalency credential. That's something different. So let your friends who may or may not uh, know about this one for the GED you know, program, let them know that there are scholarships out there for them as well enrolled in an eligible program this fall have a exhibit a strong commitment to pursue and complete a career or technical program so this one is for my um career and technical college students all right um this one in particular again the tab um above you guys will see other scholarships for four-year colleges okay but for this one will be for the career and technical college program demonstrate a critical financial need as based on the FAFSA, be under the age of 30. So a lot of my technical college students on here, be under the age of 30 and be a US citizen. Okay, so it says specifically where, where the fees may be used or how the fees may be used. Uh, the deadline for this application, the priority deadline is July 15th. All right, for this one is July 15th. However, they will continue to be awarded on a rolling basis until all funds are depleted. Yes. All right. So they are committed to giving out this money, you guys. They want to spend their dollars. And you guys, based on this tab, the other tabs that are out there or up above this, um, this one, there are multi multiple scholarship opportunities on this site. So you want to spend time, roll your sleeves up and get to work. You guys don't rush your, your time and energy spent on this site. Again, even for my four-year college students on the call, you guys are check out the state scholarships, check out the national scholarships, and the targeted scholarship will be for specific groups of people, okay? But for my technical college students, this one is for you. All right, so this one, you guys, I don't have the announcement date, um, you know, right in front of me, but you guys can click on the facts and questions or the, the um, uh, facts, excuse me, tab here. You guys can click click there later to see uh, more information about, about possibly seeing when the announcement date is, et cetera. All right, let's keep going. We've got a few more to get through. Achieve Today Scholarship. This one, the deadline, you guys, is not until August 31st. And I did check earlier, you guys, this one is for this fall. The money will be used for this fall. Okay, even though the deadline is so late in the, um, in the, the year, rather, August 31st, you guys can still use those funds for this fall semester. And this one is called the Achieve Today. So let's, let's go through again the criteria. This one is, let me go down. Actually, let me go down. Um, doo -doo -doo. Okay, let's start here. Eligible students. Actually, no, 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 I don't want to start there. I'm trying to see you guys if this is for college and high school students it's not really um easy access that information is not in front of me but let's 
let's just do the digging. Okay, so Achieve has been able to work miracles in the lives of their students and is excited to help college students become clear, uh, live fulfilled, and achieve more. So they're offering scholarships to students in the U.S. who submit a three to five minute video, audio, or essay on a topic of personal development or high performance. Okay. Achieve believes that the, for, for, I can't talk, <laughs> excuse me. Achieve believes that the formative college years are some of the best to learn and practice the principles um, of the law of attraction, right? All right, so it says two scholarships, They're offering two scholarships, gifts totaling uh, $2,000 awarded annually, the fall and the spring. So they'll receive $1,000 um, to the institution of their choice. Um, it doesn't say... Um, what level though? I'm looking to see if this is for, okay, here we go. There we go. Oh my goodness. Who can apply finally? Uh, must be 18 years of age or older and a current student of an accredited U.S. university or college. So these are for my current college students. Um, by August 31st, so a lot of my graduated seniors, um, you guys will be current college students um, by August 31st. So this one is for you as well you will be a current college student. So you'll be a current college student rather. So you'll be eligible to apply. So this one is for you. My graduated seniors and my current college students, this one is for you. It does not specify whether it's for two-year colleges or four-year or technical school colleges. So this, one's for, this one is for you. However, if you guys, so in my personal and professional opinion, you guys, um, you're, you're okay. You're safe to apply for this one if you are a current college student. However, and that's any level, but if you're a leery, if you're thinking, oh, I'm just not sure, go with your gut. And you guys can, again, email your questions to the um, email address that's, that's provided on the scholarship website. So this one in particular, it says scholarship at achievetoday.com. So you guys can email them your question directly if you are a little bit leery about whether or not you qualify. Let's check the chat. Okay, awesome. Uh, well, happy early birthday, Blaine. But that is so funny. He turns uh, 18 on the on the day after the due date. Okay, so what I would do, Blaine, is send them an email. Send them an email because I feel like this one's going to be an easy one to also apply for. It's July 1st. Go ahead and send them an email. The email address is um, listed on the, on the chat. Send them an email to figure out if you guys if you can still apply for it. Again, a lot of these you guys with the 18 and over because, like I said earlier, I was 17 in my freshman year of college. So I was still a college student. I was just still 17. I didn't turn 18 until November. So um, I was still in my, if I were in your shoes, I would send them an email uh, for this one. You guys, again, it's just um, an audio, a video or an audio. You guys are so uh, savvy with technology these days of doing a video, but yeah, do a quick video. Um, do something different. You know, you guys, if, there, if, a, if a scholarship program is, is saying that you can either do a video or an essay, trust and believe that they are creative. They want to see you think differently, think outside of the box. Um, so an audio or video of three to five minutes um, or an essay, no fewer than 800 words on a personal development or high performance. So um, I think that's so easy to write on. Um, let's see, I discuss how, how living that um, principle May, oh, I'm sorry, I'm reading it wrong, but basically it's, it's stating uh, right about how that made a positive impact on your life and how, or how, how has it helped you to overcome a life challenge? So basically they're trying to uh, emphasize the power of positive thinking, right? So, and it's right there, number three, actually in their criteria, the law of attraction, focusing on things that you can control. It's funny, this is actually a PowerPoint presentation that I have um, on changing your your mindset, developing a winner's mindset. So it's really important. It's a very common topic. So this one's for you guys. You guys should all be writing this down and I'll share the link at the end. Let's go to the next one. Here we go. We're almost done. We have one, two, three, four, five, six more to go. We're more than halfway through. Stay with me. Um, I'm going to try to end it as close to on time as possible, but stay with me. You guys, um, the more the, the more options you guys have to apply for scholarships, the better, because some of these may speak to you over others. So, uh, but my goal is to hopefully have you guys apply for all of them, uh, or as many of them, um, all of them that you guys qualify for, obviously, you meet the criteria for. Next one, annual financial empowerment scholarship. This one is for $1,500. Yes. And all of this, you guys, adds up. Um, so before I go over the, the announcement date, let's see if you are eligible. 
who is this for? Let's figure this out. It has a, okay, here we go. Required materials, eligibility requirements. Here we go. It says be a citizen of the United States, uh, attend an accredited institution. Um, so it looks like if your school's accredited, you, it's for you, right? And it says, and it says accredited institution. I would say that this is for college students, you guys, not necessarily uh, high school students, um, even though your high school may be accredited, but because they're using that language, um, I would say it's for college students, right? And it does have a hyperlink to is your university accredited? So if you are a two-year or technical college student, I honestly would email them to see if you should apply for this one because the language says is your university and typically that's a four-year college. So I would just send them an email saying, hey, can I apply for this one? Um, submit a three-part application via the form below. You've got your application, transcripts, and video. You must, um, if you're not in college, you must show proof of an enrollment or acceptance. So for my uh, students, my high school students who just graduated uh, from high school, obviously my, my graduated seniors, um, you guys can just show them your proof of enrollment, your acceptance letter, okay? And you guys need to have a minimum score of a 3.0 GPA. So you must have a minimum GPA of 3.0 to be eligible. So uh, let's see what else. Um, they have a frequently asked questions you guys on here. Uh, required materials. If you guys need uh, more details about how, what kind of video you should submit. Okay, here we go. So they, it's $1,500. Um, they want you guys, number one, excellent undergraduate or graduate student. Oh, here we go. Undergraduate or graduate, you guys, uh, who is blazing the trail and shaking things up in the world of financial empowerment. I love it. Um, so they're going to announce the winners, you guys, in August. So this August, you guys write that month down. They don't have a date, but August will be the announcement um, month for this scholarship. So, um, and you guys, for all of these uh, companies and these organizations, um, think about what are they passionate about? What is the premise behind their organization? What do they stand for? And that should actually be what um, motivates you or inspire, inspires you um, to create your your video or write your essay. You want to make this relevant to their institution. So this one is called, thank you, Blaine, the Annual Financial Empowerment Scholarship. That's the title of this one. The amount is $1,500. It's due on July 16th. You have plenty of time. And it's announced in August next month, you guys. All right. And it's for current college students. 3.0 GPA. I like the, the creative um, opportunity so you guys can, again, uh, think outside the box, you know, figure out how to be creative with it. Um, all right, let's go to the next one. We got to keep going. Time is of the essence. This one is called uh, the Bacchus, I believe, how you pronounce it, Bacchus and Shanker LLC Scholarship. And you'll find that a lot of lawyers, a lot of law firms actually offer scholarship opportunities, and a lot of them are credible. Again, you want to check for receipts, okay? Make sure that they are um, spotlighting, showcasing on their website previous award winners. So you guys know that there has been previous award recipients and they're not um, just, you know, falsifying their opportunity. Okay, so let's see, who can apply? I'd like to start there first before we get into the details. Who can apply? Any high school senior accepted to attend a four-year college or full-time students attending a four-year university? Um, who carries a 3.0 GPA. So this one is for four-year college students. So it does, it does specify that it's for four-year college students. Um, make sure that you meet that uh, eligibility requirement. The This says actually, now don't be confused, you guys. It does have two deadlines. So it looks like they, they offer this award in the fall and the spring. You guys want to apply for this um, award for the July 30th deadline. Uh, this is for, you know, students that want to apply that money that they'll receive in September. So it looks like they're going to make the announcement in September. And you guys, the due date is July 30th. All right. And it's for $2,000. So they're going to offer $2,000 in the fall and the spring. That's amazing. So, you know, when you guys see these options that are offered in the fall and the spring, if you do not receive it in the fall, for example, go ahead and apply in the spring as well, okay? Submit it again in uh, for November 30th so that you can be considered for the spring um, semester. So do not be discouraged. If you guys don't get an award for any of these that have 
um, biannual uh, deadlines or offerings, make sure that you guys are, you know, um, you know, you're, you're resilient and you don't just, um, you know, get stagnant and get, and get, uh, you know, discouraged and decide not to apply, apply again. Okay. So we already went over the criteria. You write an essay, no fewer than uh, 800 words about your opinion on the importance and efficacy of the Seventh Amendment and how it affects your life, right? Okay, so we're not gonna, not gonna dwell on that. Gotta keep going. This one is for you guys, $2,000. Let's get this money. Next, all right, this is a cute one. It's called the CouponChief.com Scholarship Program. Okay, so this one is a, uh, excuse me, a $1,000 award. Um, for this one, you guys, this is for high school students. Here you go. You must be a U.S. resident enrolled in high school, college, or trade school to apply. So this is for my high school students, ninth through 12th graders. Um, my college students in terms of two-year or four-year or technical school students, all right? And there's the guidelines. So how to apply. It looks like it says apply with a YouTube video. Simply create a two to five minute video and upload it to the YouTube, um, to YouTube, excuse me, with the title Coupon Chief Scholarship. Okay, so what is this about? The deadline of you guys is July 31st and the winner will be selected on August 15th. So you guys can write that down. Those of you guys who wanna do this one, um, write that down. Okay, so here it goes. A uh, two to five minute video, you got to introduce yourself, mentioning your grade level and the college you will, you will be attending or if you are attending, um, how you personally save money as a college student. So obviously, if you're a high school student, um, I would in, in your video, I would create one that addresses how you save money as a high school student, honestly. Or if you'd like um, to go ahead and uh, do a video on how you plan to save money as a college student. So your video must also include a short intro about your reasons for living a frugal lifestyle and in the video description, link back to this scholarship page, okay? So this is all about budgeting. You guys are, if you're, if you're trying to apply for scholarships, you definitely should have a sense of um, budget savviness, financial literacy, and you know, being smart with your money. And they want, basically they wanna give people, give students money that are going to spend it wisely and you know, know how to allocate the funds accordingly. So make sure that you are, you know, doing your research and being honest, you know, in, in these scholarship videos and essays and things that you're trying to submit, all they want, they want someone, someone who's genuine, right? They want candidates and applicants that are going to stay genuine and they're going to be true to themselves and they're going to be um, truthful rather even in their submission. They don't want you guys to use other people's words or plagiarize. So make sure that you guys are, you know, being, um, ethical in your submission. So this is for everybody. So everybody on the call needs to go ahead and write this one down. And again, the deadline is July, let's see, July 31st. And they'll, they'll announce the winners on August 15th. All right, let's go. We've got three more. Stay with me. Almost done, you guys. <laughs> All right, hold on. Okay, so the next one is called the Think well, design thinking scholarship. So when you guys go to this website, you'll see it's kind of overwhelming. It's a lot um, and you may not see it right offhand, but the design thinking scholarship is probably the, you know, the second or third paragraph in. you'll see um, more details about it. So this one is a thousand dollars. It's offered through the American Graphic Design Institute, um, but it's for both part-time and full-time students enrolled in degree programs at any accredited college or university in the U.S. So even though you guys is offered <laughs> from or, or by the Institute, um, the graphic, uh, excuse me, the American Graphic Institute, don't be discouraged. It's actually for students at any um, accredited college. So you're good to go. Um, it is for $1,000 and it's awarded twice annually. So this one is due in, um, well, this month um, on the 31st. And for this one, all you have to do is submit an essay between 500 and 1500 words describing how you anticipate design thinking or digital design tools will impact you and your career choice. Very, very, very important, you guys. Um, and you think about digital design tools, think about even um, the apps that are, are created and the, um, the apps that you use. And so for students on here that are kind of like me and not really into technology, meaning we don't develop the technology ourselves, I'm not studying it in college, what I would do is I would actually look at my phone and see which apps I use the most 
and uh, use that to guide my thought process and then see how those apps um, may impact my career choice. The apps I even use, you know, or even the websites I frequent, you know, just think, um, you know, to become familiar or just to sound genuine and to not, you know, fluff up your words or act like or speak, speak on things that you have no knowledge of. Um, you know, bring it back home, make it relevant to your personal experience so that you can sound educated in your response and your submission. So that's a, just a personal, you know, FYI, personal tip, but it looks like this one is for you guys, again, any student enrolled at any college. Um, and those are those, also those that are planning to be enrolled. Again, for my seniors who've just graduated, um, your, your acceptance letter um, should be good for proof of enrollment. So, so that one is, is a good one to apply for. Uh, second to last, we are going to do the direct textbook uh, 2021 essay scholarship contest. Ooh, this one's a pretty good one, you guys. First place, so there's three um, prizes, it looks like, three cash prizes, and we love that cash. Um, $3,000 for first place, $500 to second place, and $250 to third place. So for this one, um, must be a current U.S. citizen enrolled in an accredited two or four year college or university or university, excuse me, for the fall 2021 and have a most recent GPA of a 2.5 or above. All right. So this is for a lot of you guys. Um, so for this one, you guys need to fill out the form, obviously, and then you're going to write um, an essay, let's see, of an ambition. So it says, your um, original essay, story, or account of ambition. And you guys, even just being on this call today and also applying for scholarships, that speaks volumes. That said, that's in the, in the title of your, your subject, your essay is you're, you're ambitious. You're showing that you're ambitious by doing these things. And so it's ambition is the theme of this scholarship. It's called the Direct Textbook 2021 Essay Scholarship Contest. 2.5 GPA, um, $3,000, we're, we're shooting for the, the top winner, right? Um, and let me see the deadline on here, did I already go? Yes, so the 25th of July. Um, let's see, it says that the award winners will be notified by email on or before September 15th, very important. September 15th is when they're going to announce the winners, all right? Um, so what I would do, you guys, I wouldn't get stressed out about, oh, I didn't hear anything. Um, you guys check your emails, of course, but if you don't hear anything by the um, announcement date or the month after that date or that month, don't worry about emailing them. That means that unfortunately you were not the selection. However, um, again, like I said earlier, I applied for over 30 scholarships. I only landed 10. <laughs> so over 20 rejections. Again, you brush your shoulders off. Shoulders off you pick up, you know, your jaw off the ground, you, you know, you put your ego to the side and you keep going, right? So you keep applying for the next one, um, you know, in, in the order of priority, order of deadlines. All right, so we're almost at the last one. I have about 11 people on the call before um, we do the last one. I want to stop sharing. I like to do real quick, um, a quick picture of all of us on the call if I can get it like that so that I can um okay here we go gallery view so that I can promote for future events so before I do the last scholarship feature and before I drop the links in the chat I am going to take a quick snippet so those of you guys who don't mind joining me coming off of um well coming off of your video or opening your video I want to see your faces. Thank you. <laughs> Miss Jenkins, if you could show me your face, anybody that's a mind uh, showing me your face for joining the call today, this free event, I would love to see your beautiful faces so I can do a quick snippet of the call and um, definitely promote for future events. I really, really, really appreciate it. Okay. So I'm going to count to a count of three. Oh, okay, I think I need to cancel that. Okay, so I'll count one, two, three, smile. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> you guys are so sweet for doing that. Okay, let me take this snippet and then, all right, got it. And save it. I have, you know, you when you have a business, you guys will, will realize that, hey, if you're not your number one cheerleader, if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. So you have got to take these moments um, and promote yourself and take advantage. So there's no shame in my game. 
I want to keep this uh, these opportunities going. So we got to do what we got to do. All right. So last, let me share my screen now. Let's do the last scholarship, and then I'll drop the the links in the chat, and we'll keep going. All right. So we did the direct textbook one. Let me reshare. All right. So here we go. <sighs> the finale. The the last one, but not the least, you guys. So the the twelve that I'm sharing today, trust me, there are going to be um, many more that I again I will share on Instagram and Twitter. Um, there's going to be so many more. I found so many more to uh, feature, but again, we only have about an hour, so I didn't want to <laughs> spend your time doing twenty scholarships. And I'm going to keep posting them on social media at Succeed Drive on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. Uh, Succeed with Drive. So this last one is a pretty creative one, you guys. Um, this one is called the Spirit of Giving Scholarship. And this one is for $1,000 and they're going to give it to three people, three students. And so you must be planning to attend school in the following school year. So this fall at an institution within the US. So it does not specify you guys whether or not this one is for um, two year or four year or um, Let's see, or technical colleges. This one is actually for, I'm going to drop my Miss, uh, or whoever CJ is, CTJ. I'm going to drop my my um, handle for the um, Instagram and Twitter. You're welcome. And then I'll also drop it in the chat later. I have all of everything that's going to be ready to go to, to copy and paste in the chat um, with regards to my contact and then also these links to the scholarship. So, uh, okay, so continue with this one. Not a previous winner of the scholarship. We can't be an employee or family member of Wine Country Gift Baskets. All right. So this one looks like it's for, for everybody, high school seniors and current college students. I love it. Submission details, $1,000 for you if you do proof of enrollment, um, obviously for the upcoming year. And then your essay has to be 500 to 750 words on one of the following topics. So one option is how have you advanced the spirit of giving in your community, community, excuse me, or abroad, either through service or in giving. All right. So, you know, the spirit of giving theme, obviously that's what they're passionate about. And so um, how has the spirit of giving affected you pers personally? So that's awesome. You can also obviously write about a time in which you were a recipient of someone, someone giving generously to you. Um, how will your college or post-secondary education allow you to be of service to others or give to others? So obviously connecting that to your, your career goals, um, you know, whatever you plan on doing in the future, many of you guys, and I know some of you personally, um, what your, co your college and career goals are, definitely it connects to um, you being of service to others. And so that's a no-brainer. This one, you guys, is such a no-brainer when it comes to um, whether or not you should apply for this one. Application deadline is July 31st. So it's repeated annually. Pay close attention. Do not um, obviously uh, dismiss the uh, dates on here. So for the next um, opportunity, you guys, it opens on October 30th, uh, excuse me, October 1st. So don't, again, misread this information. October 1st is when it reopens again for the next cycle. So we're still okay for the July 31st deadline. Um, winners will be announced the second Tuesday of August. So because this is annual, they go ahead and just say second Tuesday of August. They know that that's going to be their ongoing date or that, that it'll, it'll be announced. Okay. So look at your calendar, see when the second Tuesday of August is um, important. To, they also note that the checks will be mailed by the end of August and they've got receipts. So their receipts are there. Um, they posted the recipients from previous years. You guys know that this is a valid, incredible um, opportunity. And this is information, again, that you guys should be looking for um, for other opportunities so that you'll know that they are credible um, resources. So, all right. So the moment you guys have all been waiting for, I'm sure, <laughs> um, is the links. Um, before I drop the links, one more thing real quick, I'll get to the questions, but also want to give you guys my website, which I will have on the links, the, the stuff that I, the information that I dropped in the, in the chat. The links, you guys, let me share my screen one last time. I'm sorry, not the links, the scholar, my website. My website is www.succeedwithdrive.com. And I, I always, you guys, showcase uh, my website because I have multiple resources that are on here for free. 
Um, on the homepage, you'll just see upcoming events. Um, this is not up to date, so I will need to update with upcoming events. I do plan on having another free or more free opportunities this fall. Um, I would love to do a pilot group for, and this is for you guys on the call. You guys are the first to learn about this. So um, stay, email me directly too if you're really, really interested, but I'm going to have a pilot group of students that I will work with closely throughout this upcoming school year. And I'm looking for all demographics. I'm looking for current high school students. I'm looking for, well, current high school seniors, rather, let me, let me specify. Also current college students, I'm looking for all age levels. I'm looking for um, a total of five to 10 students that I can work with closely throughout this school year to really, really, really um, enhance the process for you and to increase the number of opportunities that you guys get exposed to and also apply for. So kind of like a mentorship type program um, this fall that will be free. Um, trying to just, you know, decide on whether or not you guys should at least invest in a book in order to be your ticket for this ongoing free opportunity that I'm going to pilot. So I look forward to that. With this process and with what I do, you know, data is, is key. You know, showing you guys the number of uh, students that have been successful in this process is so important. So you guys can buy in and then of course I can get other students in the future to buy into this very, very critical process. The national student loan debt average, you guys have surpassed $1.7 trillion. So I cannot emphasize more how important this process is and how we guys should be, how we, excuse me, should be in it to win it. So in case you again need a um, re refresher, a refresher about my credentials, um, why work with me, why follow me on social media, why do I do what I'm doing? You guys can see more details about who I am, um, my professional, obviously, kind of like a resume um, description is here on this page about me, the awards that I've won, et cetera. So you guys can check that out. You know, you have to brag on yourself sometime. And then here we go to the free resources. Under my services page, you guys can see the free resources. So the free, these are not free. Now, when you get to the what I offer, those are not free. However, the free resources you guys can click on the scholarship guide, uh, 200 minority scholarships. Um, that link is pretty old, but there are still some, some good ones, some um, up-to-date ones. Um, anything, you guys, even help with the resume creation. Um, the NACAC fee waiver, if you're applying to colleges and you want to waive some of those fees, many colleges do accept the fee waiver form. Um, and many other helpful, excuse me, other helpful tips. Check this out. The application um, organizer for scholarships and for college. Um, you know, all these are on here. So there's a lot of free resources on that page, services page. And then if you can just forget my email address, you can contact me on the contact page here. And then I'm hoping that this all toggles as I'm going from tab to tab. Let's see, what did my chat say? I just tried to do the chat. Anyway, so then also the where can you buy my book if you are interested in purchasing the Not Your Average Scholarship Workbook for $14.99, you can click buy now here on my store or in my store on that, that tab. All right, so now here we go. Now let's get to the, the links. Um, it's so good question. Let me let me answer the chat, or excuse me, answer the questions before we get to dropping the links before I lose some of you guys when I drop the links in the chat. Um, so Ms. Zella said, can you share? Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Jenkins. Can you share if scholarships will or can be awarded directly to the students or are they awarded to the school only for the students to use at school? So the answer is both. You'll find that scholarship committees will um, actually either A, they'll offer it the money directly to the student or family. They'll actually write the check in the student's name and they sometimes will either mail the check or they will um, invite the student to participate in award ceremony of some sort, whether it be a luncheon or a breakfast or just a ceremony that they will present the check to the student at their event. So it just depends on the organization or they'll two, number two, actually write the check directly to the college. Um, and that way um, the, the money will be used and will be allocated by the college financial aid office. It'll be allocated to cover these students' expenses, whether they be the tuition, room and board, technology fee, activity fee, et cetera. There's so many different um, fees that they can allocate that money toward. And then, so don't be, you know, uh, you know, uh, discouraged if they do want to send the money directly to the college. What's gonna happen is once all funds have been allocated toward the student's fees, the student will then receive a uh, refund check 
and that will be after the registration period has happened, the student has scheduled or registered for their classes. And then about a week or two later, they'll get a refund check that will be in their name anyway. So um, either way, the money's gonna get to them, whether it be directly from the scholarship committee or it will go to, it will get to them um, from their institutions that, that they'll be attending. The pilot program, um, question in the chat said, will it be open for juniors? It'll be for seniors this year because I'm looking to get numbers. Um, and when I say data and get numbers, um, I'm looking to actually be very strategic, very aggressive, um, and very intentional with my current seniors um, and college students. I want to show uh, the, the difference between students who are aggressive and apply for however many scholarships that these students that I work with do apply for, and then the yielding, the outcome, the results. What are the, what, what are the, the outcome or what are the results, results that they're getting from the number of scholarships that they're applying for? So the numbers are so important with this first time, this first pilot group, I'm trying to make sure that um, you know, we show students and families out there all over and in the future that scholarship money is attainable and that we're going to show them how to do it. We're going to, you know, I'm going to throw all of my tips and I'm going to throw everything into this pilot group with regards to mentorship, weekly check-ins, or maybe even um, bi-monthly check-ins, quick um, updates. We're going to be providing them with scholarships uh, that they can apply for on a weekly basis. And so, and it's going to be heavy in data because again, I want to show the number of uh, scholarships that students can actually apply for and actually get. So, um, so sorry about that. It'll be for sorry, it'll be for seniors and college students this upcoming, this first time around, and then maybe next year open it up to juniors to prepare them for the next year. So, all right, here we go. Let me go ahead and grab the uh, the information, the links that I want to drop in the chat, so you guys don't disappear on me. <laughs> So these are the links, you guys, directly to the scholarships that we featured today. And let me, um, oh, everyone in the meeting, let's go ahead and paste. Okay, there you go. In the chat, I just dropped, you guys, the my contact information. Contact information, you guys, you'll have my email address and you'll have my social media handles. All right. And you will have the links to all the scholarships. And I'm gonna also, as soon as I get a chance, I am going to um, save this recording and uh, tweak it, edit it, and then also upload it to YouTube and connect the links to them in my YouTube as well so we can share this information out to others who could not join the call today. So there's about 11 of us total and you wanna again, make this information available to everybody. So now, um, if you have questions, I want to go ahead and open up the chat, open up, um, you guys can come off of mute. I'm going to start with some questions that a parent actually emailed to me that I'm sure you guys can relate to. All right, so in her email that she emailed to me, she says that she's concerned that her student will not get scholarships anymore, meaning that when she receives scholarships, then um, you know, then you won't get any and you won't get any additional ones. And they're just so hard to get. I think her point in her email was saying that scholarships are very hard to attain. And I, and I hate to say this and be the bearer of bad news, but yes, they are hard to attain. That's why um, anything worth having you guys is, work, is worth working hard for, right? So no scholarship money is not going to fall out of the sky. It's not going to be easy. Um, so Les Brown, one of my favorite motivational speakers, his, one of his quotes that I love and I love to quote all the time, it says, um, if you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be easy, right? So in doing what is hard, you are trying to um, apply for numerous scholarship opportunities. You're taking the time to invest in yourself and you're yielding um, favorable results by casting your net wide and applying for countless number of scholarships. I want you all to beat my record and apply, applying for more than 30, right? So you can do what is hard by applying for multiple scholarships on a continuous basis, basis weekly basis. You're sacrificing your time, you're uh, eliminating distractions, and you are, you know, you're grinding so that you can have the type of life um, in terms of simplicity and ease and free from worry, free from stress. Uh, financial freedom, that easier lifestyle that you want to have, um, you want to yield it. You got to do what is hard so you can have that easier lifestyle. So that's how I kind of relate to Les Brown's uh, quote. You want to go ahead and do what is hard now so you can have the easier, sim simplified lifestyle and free from financial worry 
uh, burden shift that you want to have, right? So, um, okay. So again, no easy answers to that. You got to, you have to grind, grind, and grind. And when you think that you're tired and want to give up, keep going, aka always keep applying. All right. So the next thing is not concerned that they're not doing enough. You guys don't beat yourself up over this process. You guys can only do but so much. Um, my thing is, if you've at least tried, you have, you know, you can't, um, you know, you just can't complain. You, you did, you've done your part. But if you don't do uh, what is hard, if you don't grind, if you're not working hard every day or every week, then you have no one else to blame. So, you know, my model, my model personally is closed mouths don't get fed. So if you're not asking, if you're not at least trying, you're not going to receive the benefits anyway. So you might as well try and keep going. And, and um, again, do not, resilience is key. Do not get uh, let down by the nose. Um, I know you've heard many celebrities, uh, the answer and the key to their level of success is they didn't let the nose stop them, stop them, the nose. They didn't let the nose or the unfavorable responses stop them from keep applying, right? Okay, so uh, I have, she says, uh, she has her students on multiple sites, um, but she never gets anything back. So the thing with having them on multiple sites, um, you want to, again, cast that net uh, wide and the, the link, you guys, to the scholarship resource guide where I house the social media sites, you want to position, your, position yourself um, to be exposed to multiple resources, right? So this process becomes more seamless by um, opening yourself up to receive multiple resources. You're, you're following underscore growing with Gabby. You're on my at Succeed Drive uh, YouTube and not YouTube, excuse me, my uh, Instagram and Twitter pages. You're Succeed with Driving. You're on scholarships for everyone. You're on the scholarship club. I mean, there's so many on that, that social media sites page that I want to um, spotlight, but you're in those arenas because all of us collectively, you guys, we post scholarships on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. So, I mean, there's scholarships coming out of our ears. There's so many. So you have to keep grinding and keep going, keep working hard. Um, and then, like I said earlier, um, the scholarship spreadsheet, that link that I also have in the chat, the scholarship spreadsheet, you guys, um, on like I had you guys write down the announcement dates so that you guys know when the winners will be announced and you guys can keep track of that part too. Not only the due dates, the deadlines, but the other piece of that, the other part of that, you guys, is to track the announcement winner uh, dates, right? We want to know when will we know something so that you guys can keep the momentum going and be intentional about your timing of it all, right? So you want to um, know when should you hear something back, and that's by knowing the announcement winner date. So keep jotting that down. Email the scholarship committee if you haven't heard anything back, or if you just don't, if they don't have the announcement or winner's uh, date on their website, that's up to you to go ahead and email the uh, scholarship committee directly to say, hey, you know, thankfully, um, thank you for this opportunity. I've applied, and I just haven't heard anything back. Can you please let me know? Um, secondly, uh, if you guys um, want to follow up with the scholarship committees and you know you're just not hearing, uh, you're not receiving a response or you're not winning money, another thing that I would charge you, I would challenge you to also do is be humble, right? Um, like Kendrick Lamar says, be humble and go ahead and email them, say, you know, respectfully, I don't, I want to know what am I doing wrong? Where did I miss the mark? Um, how could I have made my application more, um, you know, enticing or more appealing or how could I have stood out uh, among my competitors what would you like for my essay to have said, um, you know, for the future? And then you guys, like I said earlier, if you don't receive that scholarship for that year in which you've applied, apply the following year. Many of the ones that I've spotlighted today are for, you know, current college students at any level. So therefore, you'll be eligible the following year. So if you get a no this year, okay, great. I can apply for it next year, right? Or if it's biannual, you can apply for it in the springtime. So do not let the nose just defeat you and knock you out, take you out and say, oh, I'm just done. Or you just wallow in your own, your own regret. That doesn't help anybody, okay? Um, excuses don't excuse, Explama explanations don't explain. You guys keep going, um, don't give up. The, this again is not for the faint of heart, it's for the marathon runners. It's for those that are in it to win it. Um, let's see if I have any additional questions in the chat, we're gonna go ahead and conclude. This, if you send me an email, again, ebonypaino at succeedwithdrive.com, I will be more than happy to just email you um, the links that I put in the chat if you're on your phone and it's just inconvenient. Ms. Jenkins, I'll send you that link as well, the list, the list of all these uh, links, so she, you can uh, send that out to everybody. I appreciate that. 
Um, and I will, yes, Ms. Zell, I will share the um, presentation with the information. I'm going to upload it to YouTube and I'll put the links to everything in the description of my YouTube video. So look out for that. But thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. And I'm so, so, so excited for you guys. Javion, you are very welcome. Um, everybody who took the time today, there's only about eight or nine of you guys. Um, so again, you all are the lucky ones that can email me if you um, want a, a future assistance with regards to your essay or just those more individualized uh, tips. You guys are getting that for free today. So congratulations to you guys. You're welcome, Jasmine. Thank you guys. Thank you, Miss Dennis, for taking the time to join me. Miss Zellis, I really, really, really appreciate you guys. Miss Jenkins. Uh, I like to see you guys later. Thank you.